bespoke miscellaneous charts, a histogram with a normal distribution curve. And this is what it looks like. So the normal distribution takes into account your data and plots a distribution curve on top. And by plotting a histogram with the normal curve, you can see how your data fits against said curve. It's very useful as a tool, as a visualization. And here's the interesting thing. It does not require a massive amount of data densification or any of the tricks that we've used so far. However, it is still a custom chart type that is extremely useful. So let's get building and let's open up Tableau Desktop. So we are going to start off with loading our sample Superstore data source. Let's click on Microsoft Excel, Superstore. And now we are going to bring in the orders data source. Everything looks good. Let's go to our sheet. The key is with this bespoke data visualization, we're not really drawing a curve using data densification. We are going to use the data itself. So there's not much magic here. This is a bespoke data visualization, but it's just using the data as is. There's no frame or skeleton or models or anything like that involved, just pure calculations. The first thing I want us to do is to create a parameter. Let's call this at cells in size. I want to turn this into an integer and a default value of 500. Let's click OK. I now want to create several calculations. The first being customer count, which would just be a count distinct of the customer ID. Nice and simple. Now it's going to become a bit more interesting. Let's create a calculated field. Now we want to know sales by customer. How are we going to figure this out? Well, we are going to say fixed customer ID sum of sales. So we're using our LOD expression to work this out. Carrying on, we want to create two additional calculated fields. One, which is going to be the mean. This is just going to be an average of the cells by customer. Nice and easy. And then I want to create a standard deviation. And this would just be just using the standard deviation function for the cells by customer. Again, we're using LOD expression, so we're calculating this for our entire data set. Last but not least, we now want to create our cells bin. The key reason why we did not use a native bin functionality is because you can't multiply bins with other formulas. You can't include bins in your formulas, which is quite restrictive. So therefore we're doing this manually. And we are doing this by saying cells by customer divided by bin size. Let's round that up to the nearest integer or draw this and then multiply by bin size. Let's plot this out and see what it looks like. So we take those bin size, turn this into a discrete, oh, not sorry, not discrete, undo. Let's turn this into a dimension. Beautiful. Now let's take one of our measures. Let's take the custom account and drop that in. Let's now turn this into a bar chart. 
So in terms of the sales bucket, you can now see how many customers fit into each bucket. And this is kind of what you would expect. You'll have a few extremes, but typically most of our customers will be around the low end. The question now is how do you draw a normal curve to see if the data matches what the normal curve or the normal distribution shows. So let's create our normal curve. Let's create a new calculation and call this normal curve. I'm going to write out a formula. However, I will also be sharing an article in the resources where you can actually see the formula required for a normal distribution curve. Bracket one divided by max standard deviation multiply by square root two times i. So far, so good. That is then multiplied by the exponential of. This is where formulas become fun and indenting becomes an art form. Minus square max cells bin minus max mean. Almost at divided by two multiplied by the square of the max of the standard deviation. So this is a fun formula. Again, the link will be in the resources, so you'll be able to see how this calculation works. But let's click OK. Now let's put the normal curve. Onto rows. As you can see, this is what the normal distribution looks like based on our data. Let's turn this into a line. Let's dual axis and here we go. Now for the bars we can reduce the size slightly. But now you can actually see the normal distribution curve on top of a histogram. So let's rename our sheet into histogram with normal curve. Also with our controls we can also modify the bin size. And let's make this really small. We can increase the bin size. Let's leave it at 250 for now. We can also take order dates, bring that into filter. Let's filter for 2020 and show the filter. Also, I want us to enable animations just for fun. Let's leave this as one second. Let's change the year filter into a single value list. Now as we move around, we can see how the data fits on to the normal distribution curve. And there you have it. Not all bespoke data visualization requires data densifications. This, however, did require some level of detail calculations and a little ingenuity. However, this is pretty cool and pretty useful. So do have a think about this. Check out the attached articles. And with that said, see you in the next tutorial.